I couldn't give you freedom, Fraser. This is the next best I can manage. Where am I to go then? It's called Hellwater. You'll serve Lord Dunsany. I shall visit you once each quarter to ensure your welfare. Welfare? But I caution you. Your new host is not well disposed to Charles Stuart or his followers. I can scarcely hope to conceal the fact that you're a Scot, a Highlander at that. If you would consider a piece of well-met advice, it might be judicious not to use a name as easily recognized as your own. Would you look out for Willie? It would mean a great deal to me if you would spend time with him. Serve as his father. In return, if you want, I would be willing to... If you want. But are you actually offering your body to me in payment for my promise to look after Willie? An offer. You don't want me then. Well, I should probably want you to the day I die, but tempted as I am, do you really think I would accept? Your Excellency. But <laughs> Jamie. Good to see you, John. This is my wife, Claire. Claire? This is Lord John. Is that? Uh, indeed it is. The sapphire you gave me at Ardsmuir, I, I wear it too. Remember our friendship. Your Excellency, I must respectfully request that you return this man to my custody. He stands accused of murder and high treason. A warrant has been issued for him in Scotland, and I am duty-bound to ensure his return there to face trial. Of course. May I see the warrant? I don't have it in my possession, Your Excellency. You don't have the warrant? Then what do you have, Lieutenant Leonard? <laughs> Forgive me. Captain Leonard, you must excuse my unfamiliarity with the somewhat liberal practices of the naval service, insofar as conferring rank is concerned. I'm afraid the army takes a somewhat more traditional stance in these matters, preferring to grant a title of command only when it has been earned. Now, as to your request, if you are unable to produce the warrant, then what have you to support your claim against this man? Well, surely you must have some evidence to put forward before you dispossess him of his freedom? A member of my crew encountered this man in Edinburgh while in the service of the Crown and can attest to the incriminating activities he saw there. I see. Then I presume your witness has made an affidavit and sworn its veracity before a magistrate. May I see the affidavit? Having only just arrived, I've not yet had the opportunity... Lieutenant! Captain! Do you mean to say you have neither warrant nor affidavit to support your claim? Surely you do not mean to arrest a British subject on nothing more than the scurrilous gossip of the lower deck? Your Excellency... I am satisfied as to both the validity of the charge and the identity of this man. And as a senior naval officer on the porpoise, I am justified under the Articles of War in my desire to take him into custody. Indeed, Captain. Were he captured at sea. However, your authority ends at the water's edge, which is precisely where my authority begins. And until such time as I am satisfied as to the validity of this alleged warrant, this man will retain his liberty. Your Excellency... Thank you! Lieutenant Leonard. Jamie. What the devil? What are you doing in the back country? Well, your letter painted such a beautiful picture of your land, I was determined to see it with my own eyes. And I have business in Virginia. 
Virginia's some way north, John. True. Which is why I sent the men who accompanied us ahead to Willems Creek to make preparations for the onward journey. The temperature is very high. You need to bring it down. I need to make a confession. When I heard that Isabel had died, I felt nothing. We shared a life. I should have felt something. But I did. Just relax. You asked me why I came here. I came to see whether I could still feel. My feelings that have died. Or only as well. And? I can still feel shame at least. Oh, oh it's hard. It's hard watching you with him. Why torture yourself? Surely you knew coming here that you could never have him. You need your rest. It's not too cold for you. No. You? Yeah. I enjoy the brisk air. Okay. I would comment on the weather or ask your opinion on the gardens, but uh, with the time passing, I, I wanted to ask instead, will you marry me? Oh, dear God, never. I'm not sure this is what your father had in mind when he asked me to look in on you. I know, but if I didn't ask for the sake of my child... Oh, you are your father's daughter, that's certain. Look, I don't want any of your money. I'll sign a paper saying so. You wouldn't have to live with me either. Although I should probably come to Virginia with you, at least for a little while. Jamie is one of the people I cherish most on this earth, and drawn to you for reasons I cannot explain, but I cannot take your hand in marriage. If you were to see my son, William, his eyes lighting up upon seeing something for the first time. You have a son. I didn't know that. He's in Lynchburg, Virginia. Well, if he is anything like his father, he must be a perfect gentleman. He is. Very much like his father. But he is not truly mine. We don't share any blood. You're a good man. No. Good doesn't come into it. I love him more than life itself. I am sure Roger will too. Love the child. The thing is, we're all here in this new world, not because it's new. These lands are as old as any. It's only new because there is hope. And hope is at the very heart of love.